You guys, I appreciate it very much. Attorney General Maura Healey greeting voters in East Boston. She's ended rampant speculation and has jumped into the race for governor. I didn't grow up wanting to be a politician. I never imagined it, to be honest. The two-term attorney general well known for her lawsuits against the Trump administration and holding businesses accountable for the opioid crisis and climate change. She wants to focus on the recovery from COVID. Job one will be making sure this economy is back on track. That gets to issues of workforce development and job training. It gets to issues of child care. Two other Democrats in the race reacting. Senator Sonia Chang-Diaz says, I welcome the attorney general to the race. In this time of crisis, we need a robust conversation about how our government serves working families and meets our biggest challenges. Harvard professor Danielle Allen says this election is about the urgent challenges we're facing from the pandemic to the climate crisis to racial injustice to the strains on our democracy. We need a fresh perspective that can see beyond the politics. Republican candidate Jeff Deal critical of the attorney general. It guarantees the Democratic primary is going to um, produce a candidate who has got a, a radically progressive agenda of more government control. Political analyst Marianne Marsh says Healy has the funding and statewide support to win the race. She's got the organization, she's got the supporters, and she knows what it takes to win a big race like this. During her announcement, Healy did not call for sweeping change and instead struck a more moderate tone. If something's working, then let's keep with it. And if it's not working, let's figure out what we need to do. Now, Massachusetts has never elected a woman as governor. So far in this race, all three candidates on the Democratic side are women. We're live here in Boston. Charmin Sketty, WCVB News Center 5.